Jackie Chan, originally Chen Kong Sing, born April 7, 1954. Hong Kong, born Chinese stuntman, actor, and director whose perilous acrobatic stunts and engaging the physical humor made him an action film star in Asia and helped to bring kung fu movies into the mainstream of American cinema. Chen was born to Umbabar's parents in Hong Kong. The family moved to Canberra, Australia, when Chen was six, but the following year his parents sent him back to Hong Kong to attend a strict boarding school that trained students for Jiangxi. From age 7 to 17, he studied acrobatics, singing, martial arts, and mime, skills that launched him into a position with a professional tumbling troupe and London him paid roles as a child actor and later and later as a stuntman. The independent film producer Louis, hoping to find a successor to the late Presley, cast him in a series of lackluster King Fu movies in 1976-78, rather than a pleased gritty persona in 1978. Chan utilized his own form of pumbling physical comedy in his first successful films Shi Shindo Show, Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, and Zi Guan, Drunking Master. He then wrote and directed as well, started in 1979, The Fearless Yuna. Chen retained complete creative control for 1980, The Young Master, his debut with the production company Golden Harvest, which he subsequently helped transform into Hong Kong's largest movie conglomerate in the early 1980s, at the time when he was making unsuccessful foray into English language cinema. He moved beyond traditional martial arts period movies to modern action adventure films 1983 Project A. In the 1990s, Chen finally broke broke through into American market. He received the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Cable Network in TV in 1995. Chen continued to work both within the Hollywood system, though he dislikes the limitation it's placed on actors, and in Hong Kong cinema in the United States he appeared in such films as Shing Han Nun, 2000. In addition to acting, Chen pursued a career in the Hong Kong music industry, releasing a number of original albums. Beginning in 1984, he founded, he founded the Jackie Chan Charitable Organization in 1998, which among other projects offered scholarships to Hong Kong youths, and he worked as Goodwill Ambassador for UNICEF. Jackie Chan is a true action movie great. He has appeared in dozens of movies and is a screen legend. He had a simple beginning as a Chinese refugee in Hong Kong. His early years were perhaps a sign of things to come. His parents nicknamed him Babo, which means Campbell, because he has so much energy. Chen enrolled in the China Drama Academy to study opera while still in his teens. He spent 10 years there and worked part-time as a stuntman in the kung fu movie industry. He soon earned the reputation as Hong Kong's most fearless stuntman. He moved into acting, but his first two films were both flops. He quit the movie business and moved to Australia. Several years later, director Nick Thun Chen asked Jackie to appear in the movies Snake in Eagle's Shadow and Drunken Master. Both were smash hits at the box office and Jackie Chan was now a star in Hong Kong. Unluckily, a former director tried to tie Chen to an old contract. He sent the Hong Kong Mafia to Chan's movie, Sits to Frighten Him. Chen moved to Hollywood. He wasn't successful in Hollywood, so he returned to Hong Kong. He learned a lot about movie making while in America and used this knowledge to make many successful movies for the Chinese market. He also became a pop star. He returned to Hollywood and made the movie Rush Hour in 1998. It made him a worldwide star. Jackie Chan was not born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Coming from an economically disadvantaged background, he was hungry for wealth and fame, and he overlooked the significance of education in his early life. 
wants to take God famous people who are quining for his autograph but he developed in apprehension on giving autographs is not that he was shy or didn't like the limelight he was getting he didn't have a proper education and he could barely write a few words apart from his signature in those days when fans request him to write a couple of sentences along with his autograph like we'd love to do he used to ask fans to write the first part of the sentence and he would sign below it he realized that although wealth and fame are important education has its role to play in life education cannot be replaced by either wealth or fame he goes as far as to mention if anyone think he wishes he had done differently in life it's studied more in school we all generally see the success money and power a person has gained in his life most of the time either inadvertently or knowingly we are oblivious to the hard work regard routine one has to follow for years to realize the goals in his or her life we all love superhuman stance Jackie Chan pose in his movie but few of us realizes the groundwork practice and sacrifice that is behind it for 10 years he had only practiced kung fu from 5 pm till 11 pm <laughs>